Learn the three simple steps this Etsy store used to build millions in revenue in just three short years and duplicate their success in your small business. Hi, I'm Josh. I've built multiple six and seven figure Etsy stores getting sales like these and learning the ins and outs of Etsy, Amazon, and more. A wild and crazy event led me to start a totally new life traveling abroad, giving me the unique opportunity to step back, work a lot less, and start sharing all of my Etsy insights with you. So hit that subscribe button, grab a pen of paper, and let's jump in. Hello, and welcome back to another awesome video today all about selling successfully on Etsy. And this Etsy store is a great example of how a few small strategies can really help you capture sale after sale. And the coolest part is that any Etsy business can do this in any niche, whether it's digital products, print on demands, or whatever you want to sell. So it is really crazy to me that three basic steps help the store grow so much so quickly. But before I break those steps down for you, we're going to jump right into their Etsy store stats so you can get as excited about this video as I am. So first of all, this store is pretty awesome. They sell very specific niche of custom pet products, and they have managed to capture 137,939 sales, which is wild. So first of all, we're going to scroll down here and check out these listings because their average product price is about 25 bucks. I want to point out that that is really conservative because, for example, you're going to see things that are 1167 but when you actually go and look at the product itself, the 1167 is only for a digital file. The cheapest size blanket here on this listing is actually 2529. And that is true for most of these products, not including some that are just flat out higher than that $25 price point. So this one, for example, is $92. And nobody is turned off by these higher prices because these are custom pet products and they have very carefully chosen that niche for a reason. We're going to talk more about that in just a second, though, because I'm scrolling to their oldest feedback, which comes on October 1st of 2020. So this store is literally about three and a half years old. So pretty impressive when you consider that 137, almost 138,000 sales at about 25 bucks each, assuming they only purchased one product per order. That puts their approximate annual revenue at just over $1 million a year. That is crazy. How would you like to have a million dollar a year business after just about three and a half years of hard work? That's pretty amazing and pretty inspiring, to be honest. So I really wanted to break this store down and show you the simple steps that they are taking or that they have taken to really grow quickly and successfully like this. And the best part about this store, the best part about these products more specifically, is that all of these products can be done in Printify. I'm going to match all of these products in just a second here, but I wanted to really break this down from a beginner's standpoint to show you exactly what steps you need to take to build a successful store like this and you know where to focus on so that you can grow your own massively successful Etsy store with huge sales. So the first thing that this store has done is to have a very specific niche and style. So as you can tell, when I scroll through their products, they have a super specific niche targeting pet owners or gifts for people who love their pets. And I get a lot of questions about what niches are, what niches aren't, and how do you niche down? That is a really, really common question that I hear all the time. And niching down is actually a key key factor in this store's success. So I wanted to briefly break down exactly what a niche is and how you can niche down to help your sales grow faster. So first of all, a niche is either the type of products that you sell, such as t-shirts, jewelry, golf balls, etc., 
or it can be the type of customer you sell to, such as cottagecore fans, tabletop gamers, or in this case, pet owners. So niching down can really help Etsy sellers to create a unique brand identity, to attract a dedicated customer base, and to help optimize the Etsy algorithm and increase your visibility to get sales faster. So keeping with the example of this particular store, they have a lot of different types of products. Their particular niche is in their audience base, so they are targeting pet owners as their niche. And the more specialized your niche is, the easier it's going to be to grow. So the goal essentially for niching down and for growing faster is to become the go-to seller for your particular type of product on Etsy. So let's talk really briefly about niching down. So for example, print-on-demand t-shirts is a pretty broad niche. It's a specific type of product, but it has a huge, huge potential audience base because there's all different kinds of print on demand t-shirts. You can actually niche that down to family vacation shirts or mental wellness t-shirts. There's lots of different ways that you can niche it down by getting specific about the type of shirt you sell. Printable wall art can be niched down to, for example, botanical illustration prints that target plant lovers or gardeners. I have also seen wildly successful printable wall art stores that niche down to therapists and counselors and wellness people working in the wellness industry. So you can definitely niche down to what type of person is going to buy your product and be fairly specific. In this particular store's case, they started with a niche audience of pet owners and then niche that down even further by providing custom gifts, which takes a specific niche and makes it even further niched down. Whatever niche you choose, you want to make sure that all of your products fit within that niche at least until you've gotten no less than 100 sales because the more sales you have, the faster the algorithm works to classify your new listings. But any time that you add products to your store that fall outside of that niche, the algorithm then has to start from scratch. Your sales history is no longer relevant because these products are different and the people who bought your previous products are not the same people who are going to buy your new product. So it slows down the algorithm in terms of classifying your product and it also changes your Etsy SEO. Your SEO is going to be quite different for the new products than for your existing list. And that's a great segue into the second step of this process. So this store does a fantastic job of using something I like to call 360 SEO. And I've talked about 360 SEO in a few of my latest videos, and I go really in depth about it in my Etsy seller success workbook strategy guide. So I won't harp on about it here in this video, just because this video is already so packed with information. But I do want to point out two things this store does with their SEO that helped it grow so quickly. First of all, every single listing starts with the word custom, and then it has either pet or cat or dog, etc. So if we look here, we can see custom pet phone case, custom pet pillow, custom pet mug, custom pet blanket. If we go down a little further, custom pet phone case, phone case, phone case, phone case. We can see really repeating that whole thing throughout their store. They do have some slight variations like custom watercolor pet, custom pet portraits, custom pet portraits, custom pet hoodie, and it just continues on using those same key words. And like I mentioned a second ago, the fact that they have such a specific niche really makes it easy for them to use those same keywords in most of their listings. And they've also chosen to structure their titles with a lot of repetition on certain keywords. So for example, in this particular bestseller here, you can see that they say custom pet blanket, custom dog blanket, personalized dog blankets, cat picture blanket, pet photo blanket, dog dad gift. So it's really a handful of words that are being repeated over and over again in different ways. And that is true of most of their listings, if not all of their listings, because I didn't actually go through every single listing in their store. But when I opened their bestsellers, that was 
a common theme that I saw repeated over and over and over. So before we continue on to the other things the seller did to help build their multi-million dollar store so quickly here, I do want to point out that all of these products that I'm flipping through here are Printify products. So you can very quickly and easily set your store up using Printify instead of worrying about how you're going to make these products or fill these orders. You just kick all the work over to Printify and they will fulfill these orders for you. So for example, if we come back to this blanket, you can see that they have a great selection of blankets here. This is the most popular one is the Sherpa fleece blankets. If we look at these pet portraits, which are insanely popular here, you can see that there's a huge selection of wall art. So these are prints and some of them are shown kind of hanging, some of them are shown in a frame, but they essentially are all different poster or framed papers. If we look at the phone case, you can see that they have a great selection of phone cases as well, and it just continues on and on. Coffee mugs and, of course, t-shirts. There's tons of different t-shirts to choose from. So Printify does a fantastic job of really offering all sorts of different products so that you can expand your inventory. So whether you choose to go with pet products or find your own clever niche idea, this just makes it easy to utilize massive product selection. And of course, it's totally free to get started on Printify. I also did a really in-depth tutorial on setting your Etsy store up to use Printify. So I'll put that card at the top up here as well. And of course, the last thing that I wanted to mention about Printify, which is super relevant to this particular store, is that they have custom branded insert cards. So you can use these to send gift messages and it literally costs 10 to 15 cents per order to send a beautiful little gift card to the customer. So you can personalize it. They have a template that makes you personalize this very easily, or you can create a simple one that is just more generic and more branded to your particular store. They both cost the same amount of money and it just takes a couple of clicks to set these up. But that is going to be a really important service because Etsy is really putting a lot of time and advertising money into their new gift features and their new gifting classification, which helps you to not only get more sales, but it also boosts your customer satisfaction rate and make them happy because when they get their package, there's a cute little card inside and that just makes them smile and feel more excited to open the package. And that makes them more likely to give you five-star reviews. And every Every five star review you get is going to give your Etsy search rankings a little boost and help you grow even faster. So if you've been wondering or looking for a way to get in on Etsy's new gift features, this is a great way to offer gift messages to your customers without adding any additional work on your end. You set it up one time and it's good to go for every order. So. Coming back to their listings, there are also a few features in their images that are helping them boost their sales as well. So for example, this one is an Etsy's pig. It is extremely popular and you can see that the picture is really pretty and well done. But what I like the most about their images is that they have a lot of informational or how-to graphics that make things super easy to understand. So they tell you all of your different options. And then there's another beautiful example. They show you your different fonts and then they give you the different mug features. And then my favorite image, which I talk about in plenty of my videos, is the how to order image. So they tell you how to choose your number of pets, your mug size, and how to add your fonts, your text, etc. They even tell you how to submit your image so that you can send them a high quality photo and not lose any quality by using the Etsy Messenger to send your images. Again, there's another example with a different font, and then they have an infographic with these wonderful reasons to purchase from this store in particular. So first of all, they're telling you that they have 10,000 plus five-star reviews, which is an impressive number. They send you a proof of your product, which makes everybody feel more comfortable buying it. You have unlimited revisions, which you probably won't need, but being able to offer that also adds that peace of mind. And if you're still not sure, they offer a satisfaction guarantee. 
So these are great ways to really reassure your buyers that they can trust you and that they can trust placing an order with you. So that is really, really helpful. And all of this, of course, also taps into those principles of buyer psychology or sales psychology, which by the way, if you haven't seen my video about that, I will put the card to that video on the top here. It's full of simple tips that boost your sales conversions and get buyers more excited to buy from you ASAP. So make sure you watch that video after this one. Now, the next thing that the seller did that I wanted to point out to you really quickly here is that they flooded the market. Now, what that means to flood the market is essentially to make sure that whenever a buyer searches for your type of product, your listings are going to come up again and again. And this is something that I do go more into depth on how to utilize in the bonus sales strategy guide that comes with my Etsy seller success workbook and SEO planner. And I know, I know I mention it all the time, but I really put so much energy into making that a really comprehensive tool to grow your Etsy store in so many different ways. So if you're not taking advantage of those features, you are really missing out. But anyways, we're talking about how this particular store flooded the market. So first of all, their store has a little over 200 listings, 241 to be exact. And that's great because it really requires at least 100 listings for most Etsy niches, although there are always exceptions, of course, but 100 listings to really start building up a decent amount of Etsy sales and to get that visibility you need for decent Etsy sales. Once you get to 200 listings, you can really start seeing more more solid and steady traffic coming into your store. And keeping in mind, of course, that it does take the Etsy algorithm about four to six weeks to classify and show your listings in relevant searches. So you shouldn't expect to throw 200 listings up on Etsy and then next week wake up to a bunch of sales because it does take time for the algorithm to work. There is no overnight success when it comes to Etsy. It takes time to build and grow. But you do also have to have good quality products and get some happy customers and all that other good stuff to build your sales successfully. So make sure that you're putting in good quality products and you're not just throwing things up there to hit that magic number of 200 listings. But in this particular store, they've gotten 240 some listings up in here. And there's a little bit of a secret because they don't actually have 200 different products. So we're going to filter this by category here and we're gonna click on drinkware. For example, if we're looking specifically at the drinkware category, we can see that most of these listings are pretty much the same. You're seeing a lot of the same things popping up over and over. So these are basically the same, but with different dogs on them. They didn't even change the name, they just changed the dog. They also have different ones like this with Marley. Different coffee mugs, same concept, same picture, different fonts on the back because they do diff give you different options for the fonts you choose. And if you're looking at these cool wine glasses, guess what? Printify actually has those too. And they will print your design right onto the wine glass. So you really are able to offer tons of different potential products to your specific niche with one simple platform. So I did want to point that out. That is another win for Printify. But looking at these listings here, the reason they are using so many different listings of basically the same kind of concept or the same idea is because every time a customer searches for, for example, custom pet coffee mug, this store is going to pop up in the search results again and again and again because they have these multiple listings and every listing is going to appear in a slightly different place in the search results because a different number of people buy each one of these listings. They're going to have different numbers of sales. They're going to have slightly different demographics. So it does make slight changes in the algorithm which affect your search results ranking. And when someone types in that search for custom pet coffee mug, these listings are going to pop up in different places, giving you many more opportunities to be seen in that search page. And I do go into a lot more details about this strategy as well in that Etsy seller success workbook 
bonus guide, but it's a really powerful way to get more eyes on your listings without having to create 200 different products. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is that when you build up a store that has such a massive sales volume, you really need to focus on streamlining and you might even have to hire some help. And that's a whole video in itself. So please comment down below if you want to learn more about ways to streamline and grow your Etsy store. I love to talk about how I did it in my own Etsy store evolutions and how I would do it if I was starting fresh today. So drop me a comment and let me know or just say hi because it really does help boost this video in the YouTube algorithm every time you comment and like one of my videos. Then go check out this custom pet owner niche with seals that grew like absolute bananas for more great Etsy seller tips. Catch you there.